Hello, and welcome to Bucra Hydraulics. In this video, we will address the most common failure modes associated with various power unit assemblies. We will also determine the most likely root causes for each of these failure modes, and then address how to correct these issues safely and effectively. I'll be referencing a standard Bucra Hydraulics power unit as we navigate through these topics. The first step in any power unit troubleshooting is to understand what product you are working with. This will help to determine how to properly connect the system, how the unit functions hydraulically, and in the case of a failure, how to find the most effective corrective action. Identifying the type of system you are working with is as simple as locating the unit's model code listed on the serial number label. Below is an example of a standard Booker Powerpack serial number label. Here, M- are the most critical in understanding your hydraulic circuit. In the example below, the serial number label tells us that the system is an M-3551-8888. So the numbers we want to focus on are the 3551. The first of the four digits represents the type of motor the system utilizes. A three represents a DC system, while a four represents an AC system. The second digit, in this case a five, represents the size of the aluminum center section used in the power unit. The second digit is typically a two, three, four, or five, where a two identifies the system uses a mini base. A three utilizes a four and a half inch round base, a four using a four and a half inch square base, and a five being a five and a quarter inch square base as seen here. The two final digits are typically the most important for troubleshooting. In this example, we can see that the unit has a five one for the final two digits. This represents a double acting power unit within the Booker Power Pack product family. In this video, we will be discussing a 5-1 double acting circuit, but these general concepts are applicable to most power pack assemblies. For more information on circuit types not covered in this video, please find the link to our catalog in the video description below. Before jumping into the troubleshooting portion of this video, it is most important to review the safety tips to ensure that you are properly protecting yourself. Our hydraulic power packs can build pressures well in excess of 3000 PSI. Because of this, we highly recommend eye and skin protection. All troubleshooting tips covered in this video are intended for use by qualified individuals with a basic knowledge of hydraulic and electrical principles. When wiring your hydraulic power unit, it is critical that you follow all local electrical and safety codes, the national electrical codes in your jurisdiction, and all OSHA requirements. Finally, we highly recommend referring to the user's manual of the piece of equipment you are servicing prior to watching this video. Is your system operational but not building full pressure? This symptom is primarily caused by a system relief valve or auxiliary relief valve not being set at the pressure necessary to perform the desired function. In the comments below, you can find a link to a dedicated video demonstrating how to safely adjust a Bucher power unit relief valve. Air in your hydraulic system can also result in a power unit not building full pressure. One of the easiest ways to check for air in your system is by removing the system's filler breather cap and looking for small bubbles in your hydraulic fluid. Air can become trapped in a hydraulic system during installation of major hydraulic components, including hoses and cylinders. Please refer to your application's user manual for specific air bleed techniques for your system. The final potential cause of your hydraulic pump not building full pressure would be an internal leakage within your system. This can be caused by internal valve leakage, pump leakage, or even leakage within the system's hydraulic cylinder. Internal leakage can be caused by a variety of issues, the easiest of which to identify is excessive oil temperature. To check this, place your hand on the side of the hydraulic reservoir. The surface temperature of the reservoir will likely be warm, 
but should not be hot to the point where you cannot comfortably keep your hand rested on the reservoir. If the reservoir feels excessively hot, allow the reservoir to cool to room temperature before operating the system any longer. If the system still does not build full system pressure, please contact Bucher Hydraulics or your local Bucher Hydraulic distributor for more system help. In this video, we have covered common troubleshooting issues found in power unit assemblies. Please visit our YouTube channel for access to a growing catalog of product videos, instructional information, troubleshooting guides, and more. Thank you.